Machine. Let me ask you a question about domestic politics. Um, today, you announced your campaign announced that you're going to be accepting federal matching funds. Makes you, I believe, the first major party candidate to do that since John Edwards back in 2007. Well, oh, John McCain. Didn't John McCain apply? Uh, I think before he won the primary. I think he did. Um, is that a sign of a financial desperation? Is that well, a sign of a campaign, a campaign so low on funds that it must turn to the government to match? Well, look, I've never been the big money candidate here. And uh, what uh, what we are going to do and what we always intended to do is make our case to the people in Iowa and make our case to the people in New Hampshire. And history has shown that uh, the results are often very different on caucus night than they are in the November before. We have a great staff on the ground. We have 37 young organizers. We announced a number of new endorsements, including Tom Henderson, the chair of the Polk County Democrats, which is Des Moines. So we have a lot of traction on the ground. These matching funds will guarantee that we're able to make our case to the people of Iowa. And then it becomes a different dynamic. Very clearly in this race now, no other challengers had this opportunity. I am one of only three candidates. Uh, Hillary Clinton, one of the more polarizing figures from our recent past and someone who is very much involved in the mess that is our international situation. Senator Sanders